it found um, genetic DNA evidence of children's teeth in the food, in the burgers, which linked it back to, a, was it a West, not Wisconsin, Missouri or Wyoming, one of those states that's in the middle of nowhere, where they actually found human meat inside one of the processing plants at McDonald's. And they said, oh, it, we're not sure how it's happened. Maybe somebody fell in there and they haven't reported it. But between McDonald's closing, the reports of the, now the Japanese um, McDonald's try to pass the book, try to blame it on the Americans saying, we got the food from the USA. It didn't come from here. And then they said, oh, you know what? That's probably somebody playing a prank. But they're closing a lot of branches down at McDonald's. And McDonald's traditionally, Nick, in the last 40, 50 years has been one of the safest franchises you could buy. Because what they do is they do a very, very detailed demographic study of where you're going to put these McDonald's about the um, the income of the people, where they are, the population. They don't just put them randomly. They're very, very specific about where they are. So human meat in the McDonald's food, including children's teeth that have been ground up and put in there, very disturbing. But why? But why? It's where they hide the bodies. That's what they're saying. You know how many children disappear every year? Where are they going to hide? Say if there's 250,000 children disappear in America every year, where are all the bodies? You know, you got to, most people think, what are they going to do? Drive them along the highway? They always get discovered. They never bury them deep enough. You've got weather conditions that expose them, animals expose them. It's hard. You'd be surprised how difficult it is to hide a body. And I'll tell you why I know, Nick, because in, is it, there's neither North or South Carolina. There's the body farm. Now, um, the FBI and the, the use this as a training ground. So what happens is when the Americans die, they leave the bodies of science. And what they do in this ground is they put the bodies in different situations. One will be left out, one will be semi-buried, one will be fully buried, one will be buried upside down. They do all these experiments about how um, the decomposing the bodies helps them with the science when they find a murder victim or a, a, a body that they're not sure how it died. So, for example, if a, a larger man dies on his back, they can tell by the insects and how much fat has dripped out of his body underneath, how degraded the grass is and everything to understand how long he's been uh, decomposing for. So they know all about what happens with these bodies, how they do it. They've got all the forensic science about where they're from. And there's always genetic evidence. As